Hello friend, welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. I've got here 2000 Chevy 2500 Silverado. This one has a 6 liter Vortec engine and it was working perfectly for 200,000 miles which are on the odometer. But unfortunately the water pump started leaking very slowly sipping out the coolant so I have the new one here as you can see it's quite a large body quite a large part and if you want to see how I will install it stay with me in this video and I will start with removing this whole intake you see this part there are two clamps one is here and one is here I should be able carefully to remove this intake. I might be stuck a little bit. Here we go, it's all out. I have installed my coolant catching pan underneath the truck, right underneath this area. So I can continue with this upper radiator hose. On this side, there is the same clamp. That clamp should be loose enough. So let's see if I can remove it from that housing. Perfect. There is some coolant leaking, as you can see immediately. And that's why I have that pan underneath the truck. I don't need to disconnect that upper radiator hose from the radiator. I can just simply set it on the side. Right. And I will continue with removing that upper fan shroud. So here are two 10 millimeters bolts. So I will remove those. And there are also two plastic retainers here and here. So I will use this tool to deal with those, to lift the pin, right? Now I can remove the whole retainer. Here is the detail, how it looks like, right? So this is, I removed on one, and it didn't, because there are not two of them, but there are four. There is one more on each side, right? So it's a little bit here. One. It's the same. Kind, I didn't see them. This is the second one right here. And now it should nicely separate, right? It's a smart design, as you can see, right? Very easy to put up. Now we have the beautiful access to all the parts. I should show you in the detail. Now let me bring you closer so you can see the whole area in the detail right so it's the top of the water pump you can see it there we should call it coolant pump because there's no water but the coolant is the cooling fan with its clutch so I'll be removing that next here is the tensioner pulley right idler pulley and the alternator to remove that fan with the clutch I have here 36 millimeter special wrench but you can also use crescent wrench because there is enough space for it and obviously right when I try to undo it the whole water pump is moving so I need a pulley holder something what will stop it from rotating this one actually you can buy in the Harbor Freight and it's very simple you just put it on that pulley and that will stop it, right, from rotation. Now I bring my special wrench and I should be able to break it loose. Did you see that? Perfect. Now it just rotates off all the way that thread and that thread is on that water pump pulley, so that's on the new part. A few more turns and I should be able to remove the whole thing out. Excellent. 
and I've got a new view there I can see way more again so because I like you so much I will take time and show it to you right so that whole fan is not here not obstructing view you can see how the belt is routing because we are going to remove it right so we need to remember how it's routed around of course it's also right here so you don't really have to freak out if you forgot I will continue with the moving this tensioner and the removing serpentine belt right now I have here my ratchet with the 15 millimeter socket right I put it on that tensioner bolt and as you can see if I turn it this way I can lose the tension from that serpentine belt and that allows me to completely remove it that tensioner it's mounted to the water pump with three bolts it's also 15 millimeters one two and three right here so I'm going to remove those bolts and that entire tensioner from here here is the view of the tensioner with those three mount holes here is another new look inside right so you see thermostat housing with the lower radiator hose and these are two hoses I also have to disconnect here these are for the heater system so these are my next steps these two thermostat housing bolts are 10 millimeters pretty easy to remove so that's the bottom one here it's the top one yeah. and of course more coolant it start pouring out so you better have your catching pen down there and I continue with these two heater hoses right I showed you previously one of them has screw on clamp and the other one it's removable by use of pliers that water pump is held by six 10 millimeters bolts there are three here basically underneath this outer lap and there are three here, one, two and three. So I will start carefully taking them off and we will see how much that pump will be stuck on the front of the engine. Maybe it won't be at all, we'll see. That pulley always makes that sound when you hit it. It's pretty interesting. Where I have those bolts. Do you see it? One. It is the second. Oh, great. Thank you. That was fantastic. And the third one should be right up here. All six bolts seems to be the same line, so there's no need to mark them. I keep them in the same position, and as you can see, that pump actually was not stuck like a glue right by the, its gasket, but actually, I hope you can see it right now, separated itself without any pulling and prying on it needed. It still keeps pouring some coolant, right? But hopefully you can see it's right here and I will put them next to each other on the ground. We will see the gaskets and so on. So I have both units here on the ground for you to compare. I look at them, the same bolts and so on, right? This is all identical. Here is the new pump. There's absolutely no play in this pulley and look how much it rotates and that's it right no play here is the one which started seeping the coolant 
Let's see. There's a bunch of play. And look how loose it is. Alright, so the bearing it's getting loose, but the seal around the chaff was leaking, so that was the problem and reason for replacement today. The bag, that's where we are talking these two gaskets, right? So I have to pay attention to it. This is just flat. I will have to install those. 